Hello, how are you? So I am 100%, um, what's this called? Um, multitasking? Multitasking. I have a strange feeling I'm not going to catch very many people here today because, well, it's Christmas Eve and I feel like tomorrow is going to be even worse. So, um, you may have to just backtrack, um, but I'm going to keep going because 12 to 2020 doesn't work if I quit today just because it's Christmas Eve. And you know what? It's kind of a great reminder that just because it's Christmas Eve doesn't mean we let everything go. You know what I mean? We can't just let all the things go to crapper just because it's Christmas Eve. We still have to drink our water. We still have to, you know, maybe work out, maybe not, but you still got to do all the things to keep yourself sane, um, especially this time of year. And yes, I am putting in my extensions and yes, I am getting ready. I have to tell you though, before I get into the good stuff, um, I just found this shirt at Target. It's a leotard, leotard. It's velvet. It has the cutest neckline. Okay, it has these little things. And I actually found the skirt as well because I went for something and I didn't come back with the something, but I did find a skirt and a shirt. And I was walking out, I found the skirt and it was so funny because it was one of those things where you're like, you know when you go in to a store and you're like, I really wish I had like a pleated, like a pleated skirt. That would be really cute. And I don't really know, maybe like a red shirt. And I find this white pleated skirt, literally, as I'm just prancing. And there, as I'm about to leave, I look in the kids section and there's one of these leotards. And it's a large, which is what I wear in the kids section. And that was it. I walked out with a very satisfied customer. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so first to the goods, the winner of the sliders from yesterday, the code word was bicep, and um, Lindsay Cider Greer, you are my winner, um, so send me your deets so I can get these in the mail for you. Um, yesterday, she won when we were talking about having a fitness plan, having a plan for the new year, not having an idea, not having uh, what you want to do, but an actual plan. So that was two days ago. So these are actually two days behind technically. Um, so yesterday you can put up the code word now, um, and you can share what we talked about. Um, I felt like yesterday was a good one full of lots of good stuff. So, um, share, share, share. Um, I love reading all your responses. I've been going through and if you're late to the game, no big deal. You can go back and listen and catch up and um, get on board with us. We are breaking down tips to succeed in 2020 is basically our, um, what we're currently talking about. So, um, yesterday, I won't give you it all away. You should go watch yesterday's. I felt like it was, I did hear from a couple of you that you do want to jump in on organized chaos. Organized chaos is a business I run. It's another business I run. Um, and it basically just teaches you how to organize your chaos. I like to think of it as controlling the uncontrolled, control the things you can control. So when the uncontrollable happens, you're ahead of your game. So, um, I can't wait to hear what you guys thought about yesterday's and your planners and what your plan is for your planning. Um, and today we're going to talk about something that you're like, maybe this isn't what you would think as a crucial to your year but I feel like it's actually one of the most important pieces. Um, why didn't I ask for a laying curling iron for Christmas? Sorry. <laughs> my husband is at Walmart because I didn't buy a Beyblade and my son is telling everyone he's getting a Beyblade and we didn't buy it for him. And I've been trying to go through the motions. We both have been like, do we buy it for him? Do we not buy it for him? <sighs> he's at Walmart far away from us and we have to be at church in 35 minutes and the baby two babies are asleep story of our lives anyway so maybe this isn't going to seem like it really should play a very important part in um planning for your new year but the reality is that it's probably one of the most important parts um we just don't really think of it so first and foremost your 
code word for tomorrow is lemon and uh well you'll have to stay to stay and watch stay and listen to know what the heck you're going to talk about when you put in your magic word um it's actually going to be about water so water is honest to goodness probably one of the most essential pieces of you and your body and your metabolism and your digestive system and every single part of your body working together well um this is this is it it's water and so making sure that that is something that is you you have a system for is probably one of the most important parts and maybe you're like well can i just drink water great if you already drink half your body weight in ounces every single day then bravo if you don't even drink half if you are not even close if you drink nothing but soda and coffee and tea girlfriend you're you're selling yourself short um water is the key to all things water is the key to controlling headaches water is the key to your skin your metabolism your digestive system your energy your depression your anxiety all things lead to um go downhill when water isn't isn't something we celebrate or isn't something we take care of so having a system in play so for me for example this is just my water system um and guess what they don't have it oh, it's so frustrating i told them I, they, I called he went so far away i had a feeling this would happen anyway well we're gonna deal with this sad sad carter on christmas morning way to go mom he screwed up christmas isn't it annoying when you do something and you could have you could have like done something about it and you you just procrastinated for no reason other than you felt like there was just so many things so you just didn't do that one thing yeah that's kind of what i did here well I'll deal with that tomorrow anyway um so water is essential so my system that i use and it's just what i use doesn't mean that it is the winning system but um, I learned in, I used to eat, or I still kind of eat this way, using, it's called To Be Mindset Principles. And um, she says that you should always have 16 ounces of water before you take any bite of food ever. So before every meal, you drink 16 ounces. Before every snack, you drink 16 ounces. So you're basically always doing 16 ounces before you do anything. And then from there, you then you just anything extra, right? So every morning I have a, um, I have a digest, I have a lemon diffuse, I have a diffuser that I keep in my fridge and, um, I put, um, I just refill it throughout the week and then I just redo it on Sundays and I just, it's 22 ounces. So I just do 22 ounces. I get out of bed and that's the very first thing I do. I don't drink anything else. I just drink six or 22 ounces of lemon water. Um, the, the benefits of lemon water are beyond just go try it. I'm someone who suffers from IBS and digestive issues at the yin yang, but I'm telling you, this is where everything changed for me was having this water system in place. So then I know I have two water bottles that I keep in the fridge. They're already filled. Um, I have to drink both of those and those are another 20 ounces each. So that's a total of 40. And then I have another big water bottle that's 32 ounces and I drink that. And that gets me my almost close to 100 ounces of water a day. Now, I don't have to have 100 ounces. I could have, that's not like I could have, I only really need half. So I really only need like 60 ish, but I just find that I don't overeat. I don't eat the wrong things. I feel less stressy, all of the above when I just drink more water. So I drink all the water. Uh, and that's today's lesson. It might not seem like the most, you know, organizational tip to succeeding in your year, but if your system is flowing the way it's supposed to, you are going to feel better. You're going to act better. 
you're going to operate better, you're going to have more energy, you're not going to be sad about your pupils, you are going to, your hair is going to grow, all the things, it's like right in front of me, you know, when you're staring at something and it's like, hello, where are you? Um, it's all going to work according to the plan, to the way your body is supposed to, um, the way your body is supposed to do the thing. So this is going to just do all of it for you. So I hope that is helpful for you. I hope that, um, you feel enlightened by water. Um, if you ever want to go learn about water, Google or go to YouTube and do Tony Robbins water. Um, it is such a phenomenal YouTube video about, um, just all water and, acidity in your body and everything. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So go check that out. Um, I think that you will be, you will feel so much more knowledgeable and you will love it every minute of it. It changed my world. Um, he actually says if you wanted to have like, um, to test your, um, your levels, that's the level that I'm thinking of your acidity level. You could have like pea sticks, which is a little aggressive, but if you're really trying to operate on a level of, um, not letting sickness live in your body, uh, this is the jam. So go watch all about water, go and, uh, fill up your water cup. And for those of you that use the code word tomorrow, you are going to be winning my favorite diffuser bottle. So, um, Come back again tomorrow and tell me the code word and tell me what you learned and you will be in for the drawing. Okay, well, that's it for me. Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you have the best day and I can't wait to hear and see who's our big winner today. Um, I will be going back to look at your code words and what you learned yesterday uh, later today. Okay, Merry Christmas.